Hi, I'm Amanda Rowan, founder and head coach at the Therapist Development Center. If you're a first time viewer and looking to pass your social work or MFT licensing exam, or just interested in topics relevant to clinical social work and psychotherapy, you've come to the right place. If you like it, be sure to subscribe for updates. You can also sign up for our complete LMSW, LCSW, and MFT exam prep programs by going to our website at therapistdevelopmentcenter.com or clicking on our logo. Thanks. Today's topic. Free ASWB practice question. Minor consent to therapy. Coaches frequently get questions related to minors consenting to therapy. For example, what is the age of consent for therapy? Can minors consent to their own treatment? Do parents have a right to access their children's records? The most important thing you need to know regarding this topic for your ASWB exam is this. The age of consent varies state to state. In some states, a child as young as 12 can consent to their own therapy. In other states, however, even a 17-year-old minor cannot be seen for therapy without parental consent. Age of consent. What many people are unaware of is the fact that the LMSW and LCSW exams are not state-specific. These exams are administered not by your state boards, but by the ASWB, the Association of Social Work Boards, and are the same across the country. The LCSW exam, or clinical exam, given in New York will be the same one given in Florida, Texas, California, Hawaii, and so on. Because this is a national exam, it does not test you on specific state laws. It does, however, recognize that some laws vary state to state, like the age of consent for treatment and at what age parents can access their child's records. Because the age of consent for therapy varies state by state, if you get a question on this, and there is an answer to follow local laws, jurisdictional regulations, that is a really good answer option to consider. The way I look at it is this. On the exam, you're never not going to follow the law. Let's take a look at how a question testing your knowledge of minor consent for therapy could show up on the exam. Age of consent practice question. A 16-year-old girl and her parents are referred to a social worker by the child's pediatrician for concerns around social anxiety and depression. The family resides in a state where parental consent is required for treatment of anyone under the age of 18. What is the best practice for the social worker during the initial session with the girl and her parents? A. Obtain written consent from the parents and discuss with the daughter how confidentiality will be maintained. B. Obtain written consent from the parents, obtain verbal consent from the daughter, and discuss confidentiality considerations with both the parents and daughter. C. Obtain written consent from the parents, obtain verbal consent from the daughter, and discuss with the parents how confidentiality will be maintained due to the daughter's age. Or D. Obtain written consent from the daughter, obtain verbal consent from the parents, and discuss confidentiality considerations with both parents and daughter. So take a moment, pause the video, and think about what you think is the best answer. All right, the correct answer is B. A is incorrect because while we do want to obtain obtain consent from the parents, we don't ever want to only discuss how confidentiality will be maintained. Rather, we also want to discuss the very real limits of confidentiality. Additionally, this answer fails to acknowledge the parent's right to have some information about progress in therapy as the ones who consented to treatment. C is incorrect because again, we cannot simply keep all things confidential for a minor if the parents are the one who consented to therapy. There are limits to confidentiality and the parents have a right to some information about their child's progress in therapy. D is incorrect because written consent is needed from the parents since they live in a state where parental consent is required for therapy with minors. B is our best answer because it does three important things. One, it acknowledges that the parents are the ones who need to be formally 
complete the consent forms. Two, it also has the daughter provide verbal consent for her therapy. While this is not required, it is considered best practice. Three, it has the social worker discuss confidentiality considerations with both parents and the daughter, which is crucial when working with minors, especially teens. This discussion can include both what will be kept confidential between the minor and the therapist and what will be shared with the parents and why. When working with minors and their parents, this is always a discussion you want to have at the very beginning of therapy with both parties present so that everyone is on the same page. This way, there hopefully won't be any surprises for the parents or teen when something is or is not shared. Thank you so much for listening. Remember, if you're studying for your exam and looking for the best LMSW, LCSW, or MFT exam prep, please visit our website at therapistdevelopmentcenter.com to sign up. With a 95% pass rate, we offer the best study system on the market to help you pass your exam with confidence. Here at TDC, we're with you until you pass.